Melissa Lantzman's economic grievances are likely to be a focal point. Nine years of this NDP Liberal Prime Minister and Canadians are fleeing Canada, moving south in record numbers, tens of thousands, the highest number in 10 years, escaping this Prime Minister's economic ruin, fleeing so they can afford to live, afford to buy a home, and stop paying for this government's bloat. This is an inconvenient truth from the Prime Minister's very own media machine, the CBC, this morning. Yep. So how many more Canadians have to leave their country before the Prime Minister realizes that his government is just not worth the cost? Well, I can tell you, I was down south a couple of months ago with my partner, where some an individual fell over, and when they came conscious after I called 911, their concern wasn't their health, their concern was money. But they didn't have the money for the care. I don't want to live in that country. Your plan is actually driving Canadians out of this country in droves. More than 126,000 Canadians left to go stateside in 2022. That's a 71% increase from the year before. Doctors, nurses, mechanics, young Canadians with university degrees, don't they get why they're leaving? His policies, the Prime Minister's policies, are hurting them. When will the Prime Minister realize the Canadians are just not that into him? Mr. Speaker, families like mine chose to, come to, chose to come to Canada from places that were difficult, where there were challenges. Canadians are proud of the country that we have. Critics argue that high taxes and government spending under Justin Trudeau's leadership are pushing people to leave. They view this as a failure of liberal economic policy highlighting the need for fiscal responsibility, limited government intervention, and the importance of a free market economy. The migration of Canadians to the United States underscores a broader systemic issue. Seen as a direct consequence of unfavorable economic policies, individuals are in search of better opportunities in a more prosperous environment across the border. This speaks to national pride and independence. People must thrive without excessive government support. And the current situation suggests a lack of faith in the government's ability to ensure a stable and prosperous future. Canadians experiencing cognitive dissonance feel betrayed by government policy. The harsh reality of national pride clashing with economic struggles leads to significant psychological stress. The economic pressure and uncertainty exacerbate Canadians' stress and anxiety. The fear of being unable to afford basic necessities like housing and life essentials can severely impact mental health. 